your girl Angel and welcome back to Angel's Life. I know you're probably thinking like, girl, what the hell are you doing on our screen? Where is the next part to the cruise vlog? Y'all, it is coming next. But I wanted to get on camera really quick and do this video because it's a PSA. It is a public service announcement and I needed to get it out there as soon as possible. Um, so I am doing a closet clean. I'm gonna give y'all a quick backstory on why I'm doing this closet clean out, but this is what this video is all about. I'm gonna show y'all a few pieces that I'm for sure going to be getting rid of and selling on my Poshmark. Of course, I will leave the link for that down below. However, before we get into the video, I do want to welcome all my new followers and subscribers. Welcome to Angel's Life and all my OGs, welcome back. Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Angel and Angel's Life is a style and travel channel. Okay, so if any of that is interesting to you, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos, as well as follow me on Instagram at Angel's Life and TikTok at One Angel's Life. So, now that we got the intro out the way, let's get into a quick backstory on why I've decided to do this closet clean out random. Okay, y'all, so I decided to do this closet clean out because yesterday was my son's like daycare graduation. <laughs> It was really cute, and of course, I'm going to be there to support my baby, okay? I don't care if it's fake or not, <laughs> but um, yesterday was his daycare graduation. He'll be going to preschool next year, during this, this year's school year, and of course, I mama was going, and she needed something to wear, and I was running late, so I wasn't completely like jazzed. However, you know, anytime I step out the house, baby, she going to good she gonna look good she gonna put forth effort so I was like I go in the closet and I'm like okay well what are we gonna put on and immediately immediately I reach for that green jumpsuit like y'all it wasn't even a question give her to me we are out the door I absolutely love that green jumpsuit and I if you haven't gotten it yet you need to go get it now green is so out but she does still have mustard so hey <laughs> y'all better stop playing and go get that jumpsuit y'all because it's cute it's simple it can be dressed up dressed down both and i love it i love it i live for it it is everything now um with all that being said i absolutely knew quick however outside of that green jumpsuit and a couple other pieces there just wasn't a lot in my closet that i was like drawn to there wasn't a lot in my closet that i felt like oh i could wear this i could wear this i could wear that and that kind of made me sad, especially when for a while, especially if you're an OG, y'all know I was doing my capsule wardrobe, y'all know I was shopping with intention and doing all these things, and I am still are for all for that. However, in being more consistent on my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, etc., I have found myself buying things to create looks just for social media. And that's a no. That's a big no-no for me and to me especially when it'll be different if i was returning these things like if i was wearing them returning them that'll be all good <laughs> you know that'll just be those those couple dollars constantly being rotated however that's not what's happening i'm not returning these clothes y'all like i'm not selling y'all or telling y'all to go get this or go get that and then returning the clothes no i'm keeping these clothes and the clothes that genuinely do not fit my style are collecting dust in the closet and I don't have the time or the space or the money the sh money for that so I'm going to show y'all a few pieces some recently bought some bought in the past that I am going to be selling on my Poshmark and I'm going to be giving y'all a reason why now honestly there's probably collectively between the bags the clothes the shoes and the accessory there's probably a hundred pieces that I'm going to be posting on my Poshmark. It's a significant amount of pieces, may, and if not a hundred, close to it. There's a, you know, between everything, there's a decent amount of things. So if you don't fit my size in shoes, maybe you are my size in clothes. If you're not my size in clothes, maybe you like a few of the accessories or what have you. But definitely got to get rid of some of this stuff because it, it literally is serving me no purpose and I'm just not down for that. When I am wearing things, I still want to love everything that I have. Even if I am creating content with it, I want to love it. Like that gold Michael Kors clutch, y'all, I love that. 
I love that freaking bag. I love my YSL camera bag. I love my Tom Ford sunglasses. I love that green jumpsuit. I should have that same passion and feeling just about, about everything in my closet. Like, it's okay to have that one piece that's like, okay, that's cute, we can throw that on. You know, it's a t-shirt or something, jeans, you know. But even then, I feel like I can love a t-shirt. I can love some jeans. I love this Aretha Franklin t-shirt. I love my Whitney Houston t-shirts. Like, it's important to love what I have. You know what I mean? So, because when you love it, you're gonna wear it. And when you're wearing it, your cost per wear is gonna be down. And that's, then we all good in the hood, <laughs> okay? But if we spend, I don't care if I'm spending $5 on it, if I only wear it once, it's just not bringing me any value. If I don't see myself styling it multiple ways, it's just not bringing me any value. And therefore, it just doesn't need to be in my closet. So anyway, let me stop rambling. Let's get into the first piece. So the first piece is this uh, shirt that I got from Target. It is from the Future Collective Gabriella Karifa Johnson collaboration. Um, so the funny thing is, I actually really like this shirt. I like the organza much sheer material on it. I really do like this shirt. However, it just, to be honest, it, it just doesn't fit into my wardrobe. It's not for me in a sense of like practicality. In the summer, I live in Texas. During the summertime, it's hot. So I tend to like lean away from jeans so much in the summer. I'm, I'm gonna lean to more, more towards a dress or shorts, preferably. And this is something that looks better to me. It looks nice with shorts, but with shorts, my shorts are going to be short, honey. And it's kind of, you know, you can't even see the shorts. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It is a really, really nice shirt. I never actually wore it out. I only wore it for the video. And it's just, I haven't even thought about trying to build an outfit around it. And that is a sign that it just doesn't belong in my closet. So this is the first piece that I'm getting rid of. So, yeah. The next two pieces that I am getting rid of is this Wild Fable top that I got from Target and these orange sunglasses that I wore with it. So, I actually really do like the top and I like the orange sunglasses with it. It really is a bop. However, it's just not really my style so much. Like, I think it is really cutesy, but I think it's like the picnic pattern that just doesn't do it for me. And it was the same thing with the... Um, the Karifa Johnson shirt like it you know and I didn't mention that like stripe picnic pattern but I don't know it just doesn't it doesn't do it for me I think I prefer something that's a solid color and this did come with shorts it came as a short set maybe if I got the short set maybe the shorts to go with it maybe that would have been a different way that I would have worn it but I don't know y'all it's just I haven't reached for it since. I would never wear a crop top with shorts. Not saying that I would never, but that's typically not my style. If I'm out at the top, then I need to be covered at the bottom. If I'm covered, you know, if I'm out at the bottom, I need to be <laughs> more covered at the top. That's just how I get down on a normal basis. But yeah, these two items are going to be for sale as well. And this is an extra, extra small. And the last one was an extra, extra small too. This one I would say is like more of an extra small and that one is probably more of an extra small too, but target sizes run a little weird, but yeah. Moving on to the next piece. All right, y'all, so the next thing that I am going to get rid of is this pretty little thing set and set. And the reason that I am getting rid of it is because I have been having it for about a year. I've worn it two or three times, but I never got it altered. This is something that I've, really would have needed to get altered so that it fit me better but I just didn't feel like doing that so I'm just kind of you know like okay plus I do have my Fee Noel set this I will say this this set is nice as far as the color scheme it's nice for late summer early fall and the Fee Noel set is definitely more of a spring summer set however I don't know I just didn't reach for this enough I don't reach for it enough so it's out <laughs> it's out um so yeah next so the next piece are these fatigue like bell like kind of flare pants 
um and these are relatively new as well um so the reason that i'm getting rid of these is because i have my ocps i've come to realize and having these has kind of like made me throw my ocps to the back and it's just kind of like okay that's weird i don't need two pair of fatigue pants basically like the ones that i have are good and we're gonna stick with them and we're gonna work it out with them so yeah this is i'm gonna go ahead and sell it it sucks because i really do like i really do like these you know these like pants or whatever but yeah they're just i don't like to have a lot of things that are similar because I feel like it's just going to give me similar look, even though they're a completely different cut and a completely different fit. It really do give a different vibe. They're just too similar to me, I guess. So, and I will wear them in the same ways, so to speak. So, they're cut. <laughs> Next. So next I have these Doc Martin Blair sandals and I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually love these sandals. They, last year when I was in the UK, living in the UK, they really, girl, they were doing it for me. However, being back stateside, tapping back into my style, like my style and not being so experimental, these are just a little too hard and a little too grunge for me. Like, I don't go there, but not in a sense of this. I already am not a fan of sandals. So, yeah, these just, they were, they were perfect for that phase in my life. But as far as now and where I am and where I see myself moving forward, they really just don't fit into the wardrobe at all. So, I will be going ahead and selling my... Doc Martin Blair sandals and so I love Doc Martens but I'm gonna stick with the boot the sandal just may be a little too grungy for me <laughs> um let's see the next piece the next piece is this pink utility skirt that is also from Target and the Gabrielle Karifa Johnson collaboration so I like the skirt I don't love the skirt that's just it's as simple as that. I really do like the skirt, and to be honest, it would look really cute with the Aretha, Aretha Franklin shirt that I have on today. But outside of wearing it with t-shirts, I just, I just don't see myself, you know, wearing it with anything else. So yeah, the skirt is cut. <laughs> next, y'all. So the next item are these blue and yellow Jordan O ones. They're like OG highs. Um, so Jordan ones are my favorite type of sneaker, or one of my favorite type of sneakers to wear. My favorite type of sneakers are Air Max. But besides Air Max and all the different varieties that they have, I do love me a pair of nice ones. However, and I do like these, however, it's the color scheme. The color scheme just does not work with like anything in my closet for real, for real. And if I was styling you with things, I would basically starting like a new and I'm just not down to do that I don't wear a lot of blue I damn sure don't wear a lot of yellow so these are no I did style them with this like really pretty yellow dress that y'all will probably see sooner than later but yeah um yeah they just it's the color it is the color. I do want to get a pair, one or two pair of Jordan ones that are the, like a good color for me, but these are not it. So these have to go as well. Next. Now I'm gonna look at y'all who done been here because I asked y'all should I keep this skirt and y'all said yes. Y'all didn't listen. The skirt is cute. The skirt is cute. The faux leather skirt, all it's cute. It is feminine. It's cute. The skirt's too damn tight. It's too damn tight. No, it's just too tight. It's just too tight. And I don't want to be like feeling constricted and can't move. So the skirt is too tight. That's why we're getting rid of the skirt. We moving on to the next piece. Okay, y'all. So next we have this Rebecca Mink Off belt bag that I wore with my orange utility shorts. And let me tell y'all something. That outfit right there, that outfit right there, love 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 that outfit and i 
actually love this bag with that outfit. However, the bag, the material on it is kind of like satin. <laughs> and I have a four-year-old son and I would want to wear this bag on an everyday casual basis. And because of the material, y'all, it's just, it's just a little too fragile. It's just a little too fragile, that's one. And then two, we run into that same issue of the color blue. I do not wear a lot of just bright blues. Not saying that I don't like blue, because I do, but if I am gonna wear blue, I'm probably gonna lean more towards a uh, denim, because y'all know I love denim, or a navy, and not so much a royal blue. Y'all know green is my neutral, green is my black, and black is my white. <laughs> but blue, you know, it just, and denim is, and denim is my green. I don't know if that makes sense. But this, the, between the material and the color, there are a few one-off pieces that I can throw in and it looks good with, but it just, oh, and it sucks. Oh, I love this bag so much. Rebecca Minkoff, baby, this is a dub. But I just, I can't swing it, especially when I'm wearing it in a casual sense with my very, very, trifling dirty son four-year-old son who is like sticky hands sticky fingers dirty this grabbing this grabbing that like this just isn't the material makes it not casual enough if i didn't have a child though i would probably figure out a way to work it out find more things to you know build around it but because of that it has to go so the next piece is this long shop backpack and y'all i'm not gonna lie i absolutely love this backpack I love it I love it I love it however it is the color it is gonna come down to the color I don't wear a lot of burgundies either I don't wear a lot of blues I don't wear a lot of yellows and I don't wear a lot of reds I am a denim green pink black and white type of girl I kid y'all not those five colors a majority of what my wardrobe consists of some shade or form of pink or peach greens all the different shades of green denim oh i don't want to put my finger at y'all denim in every way shape and form you can think of it in every color denim black and white that's it that's pretty much my range of colors that i enjoy and that i think look beautiful on my skin occasionally i will throw in a purple because y'all know i have those purple sequence pants that i would never get rid of so purple gets thrown in there occasionally but outside of that i just this reds burgundies blues yellows even oranges they don't work so much they don't work so much i do love me a brown though but because of that this it's the color it just comes down to the color um so yeah i just don't you know I wanted to go with an outfit thinking I could make it work, but just for what I have now, it's just a color. And it's gonna be perfect in the fall, so for somebody who's into those colors, but you know, even in the fall, green, you know, I'm more of a green than black and cream type of girl, not so much burgundy. So yeah, sucks. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna show like two more things. I have a lot more things that I'm selling, but I'm only gonna show one or two more items just for the sake of this video not being an hour long. So let's move on. Uh, so the next item are these yellow sunglasses. The color. <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> to be honest, I have been contemplating maybe getting these again in a different color. I had this yellow shirt that I wanted to try it with, which the yellow shirt is gonna be for sale too, because it's just the color, even though I love this yellow, it is so bright, it is so cute. And I know y'all probably thinking like, girl, you didn't show us about three, four yellow things. Like, you show you ain't got no yellow? I promise y'all those are the only yellow pieces that I have. Those are the only yellow pieces that I swear to God I've ever bought in my life. Yellow is just not one of those colors. And it looks good. It looks real cute, real nice on this brown skin. But it's just, I think it's like a contrast between the hair and the just, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm not a scientist or colorologist, but I know that I just don't be wearing yellow like that. I don't gravitate towards yellow, so this just doesn't, it's 
it's not it. I'm more of a green pink girl, y'all. I'm sorry, I just am, I just am. So these glasses are going to be up for sale as well. Um, and then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna show y'all one more item and then we are done. Right, y'all, so the last item that I will be showing is gonna be these Jacquemus times Nike sneakers. So, I should have got the pink. I should have just got the pink. Brown is cute. The brown for sure is cute, but I should have just gotten the pink ones. That's that's as simple as that. I should have just got the pink ones. I wanted the pink ones. I just knew the pink ones were going to, I thought they were gonna sell out, and they did. They sold fast and stuff like that, but there's, they still have my size to this day. Um. The brown is cute, but it's just not enough of me. Like I told y'all, like the colors and stuff are cute. I originally got the brown because y'all know I had my two Louis Vuitton bags. I had the Alma BB and I had the Speedy and these brown sneakers were really cute with them. Cause as long as your shoes and your bag match, girl, there's nothing to worry about. But since I don't have those bags and I don't have any other brown bags, I only have three bags and none of the three are brown. These shoes are just sitting, I mean, they're pretty much brand new they're literally just sitting in the nike ones too i've only worn them once they're literally just sitting in my closet collecting dust and it's just 180 dollars sneaker just collecting dust i can't so we're getting rid of it so we're gonna sell it but that's it that's all i have um like i said i will leave the link to my poshmark down below where i will be listing everything that is going to be up for sale um and I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Angel's Life and TikTok at One Angel's Life. And have fun shopping. Let my my L's be your gains or your W's. Um, well, yeah, I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video.